LaCrosse Technologies' new Wi-Fi multi-day forecast station is a sleek masterpiece. Its vivid high contrast color display offers easy viewing of your extended forecast, access to current indoor and outdoor conditions, the ability to show add-on sensor data, and so much more. Hi, I'm Greg Peasel with LaCrosse Technology, and in this video we're going to walk you through the basic setup process, show you how to view extended forecasts, and cover some additional tips to help you get the most out of your new forecast station. So let's get started. Out of the box, you'll first want to install a new set of AA batteries into the included outdoor thermal hydro sensor. Next, power up the display by installing the power adapter into an outlet, and then into the bottom of the station. Use the built-in cord management holes to help keep your space tidy. From there, activate the backup battery by removing the insulation tab, and then use the friction controlled pull down stand to allow the station to sit upright on its own. About 30 seconds after powering the station on, it will automatically enter the settings menu. To access the menu after that phase, hold down the set button until you see hello on screen. Once in the menu, use the plus or minus button to adjust the values, and press the set button to confirm and move forward. This menu is important as its settings control station functions that cannot be controlled within the app. You can use the light button to exit the menu at any time. At this point, your outdoor sensor data should have appeared on screen, but if not, a simple press of the sensor's TX button will force a transmission and likely connect it instantly. Once this connection has been made, we recommend mounting the sensor in a well-shaded area, where it is also protected from direct weather elements. Under an eave on a north-facing wall is often a good solution. Now that you have the display and sensor synced and your basic settings adjusted, let's get the station connected to the internet. First, download the free Lacrosse View app on your Apple or Android mobile device. Once downloaded, open the app and log into your existing account or create a new one. Assuming you're a new user, let's start from scratch. To get started, the next page will require you to enter in some basic account information. Once filled out, tap Create Account at the bottom. After a little loading, you should then be presented with an Account Created dialog box. And since we are setting up a new device, we'll select Continue. The following three steps outline the information we've covered regarding getting your sensor and station synced. Assuming these are complete, we'll move to step 4 and scan in our device ID barcode on the back of the station. This should bring up a picture of the display along with its device ID. Check to make sure these are correct and tap yes. Next, we'll need to enter in a device and location name for the station. These help to identify what device we're looking at in our normal app pages. Below this, it will be important to have your correct country and postal code entered, as these are used to provide accurate forecast, time, and date information on your display. From there, we move to the Wi-Fi connection process. Depending on your mobile device or router setup, these steps may vary. But first, be sure you have your mobile device connected to your home Wi-Fi network. If you have a dual band router with dedicated 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands, be sure to connect to your 2.4 gigahertz option at this time. Once on the correct Wi-Fi network, enter in its password to send this information to the weather station. After doing so, the app should instruct you to press the Wi-Fi button on the back of the display. Check the I did this box and tap next. Confirm your station's Wi-Fi icon is flashing and follow the steps to leave the app to connect to the new Weather Connect Wi-Fi network the station should have started transmitting. After jumping back into the Lacrosse View app, the connection process will likely start automatically. When connected, the station will beep and a success page should appear in the app. Within the next 15 minutes, you should receive an Add Device notification in the app, indicated by the red cloud icon on the top bar. Simply tap this icon, and then the Add button to the right of it. Give the sensor a device name, 
assign it to a location, and tap Done below. Your outdoor sensor data will now appear as a separate device page within the app. If you're having any issues with Wi-Fi, sensors, or would just like to know more about how the Lacrosse View app works, check out our support site for details about these topics and more. Now, let's talk about your station's extended forecasts. Once connected to Wi-Fi, you should notice that your LCD is now showing internet forecasts at highs and lows, weather icon predictions, and chance of precipitation values for the coming days. You can take this even further by pressing and releasing the extended forecast button on the front to view the following three days and up to the next 12 hours of AccuWeather forecast predictions. To be sure you're seeing the latest predictions, press the forecast refresh button to initiate a search for updated forecast data. The icon will typically animate for about 30 seconds while pulling in available updates. We should also note that after connecting to Wi-Fi, both your outdoor sensor and indoor temperature and humidity readings will now share the same light blue current conditions section on the LCD. Simply press the in out button to switch between them or initiate the auto scroll function. One of the unique perks of owning a new Wi-Fi multi-day forecast station is its ability to expand to fit your needs with a variety of add-on sensor options. Based on user request, we've made accessing add-on sensor data even easier. With the extra sensor button now on the front of the station, you'll get clear access to data for up to four additional sensors. These can even be set to auto-scroll between sensor data and your station's barometric pressure reading. To add an additional sensor to your display, press and hold down the extra sensor button to initiate a search. Then install batteries into the new sensor. It should then connect shortly with its data showing in the extra sensor area on the LCD. And though the station itself is limited to four add-on sensors, the Lacrosse View app is not. Add sensors and even different displays to remotely monitor your entire home. See all this data on the go, view and export historical insights, easily share devices with family and friends, and set free push notification alerts for nearly any data point your devices are already measuring. Our new Wi-Fi multi-day forecast station is a feature-packed device designed for any home environment, and we hope this video helped to get yours up and running correctly. If you should have any further questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below or reach out to our support staff directly. We are here to help you. Thanks again for choosing LaCrosse Technology.